Kyung sa mga pirata Lian here and today we are going to learn Photoshop together. Let's go. I don't know why I said let's go. I didn't really have an intro yet. Anyways, um, in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to make quick selections to make this kind of image. Wait, let, let, let me just find it. Okay, this kind of image. So, if you guys would follow me, <laughs> shameless plug. If you guys would just check out my Instagram, no need to follow. Um, I, I make a lot of photo manipulation images, such as these things. I'm just gonna show you the screenshot right now. Okay, this Photoshop, basically these are called uh, um, photo manipulation. So this is the type of art. Did I just call myself an artist? That, that was pretty weird. Okay, so this is the type of art that people who don't want to go out or don't have the time to go out can do. Okay, so if you follow along, you'll be able to make this kind of image, guys. Alright, someone texted me. Okay, let's continue on with the tutorial, guys. All you got to do is take two images at the same spot. So, take one image of the thing you want to be the, the thingy. Okay, so, damn it, I'm running out of words, guys. Okay, so first, take an image of a... Of anything you want the person to be swinging up upon so for this image I took a picture of my keys well that's not my hands that's that's my girlfriend's hands because my hands look like the hands of a gorilla I didn't know why I had to say that okay and then take a picture of the person you want to be swinging on the thing you took a picture of you, the thing the first picture you took is the thing where you want to you get my point guys so take two pictures um, it is crucial that you take these two pictures at the same place so that the angle of the sun or the lighting would be the same and also at the like relatively the same time so that you know the, the angle of the sun I already said that anyways going to the image what you got to do guys is select the person you want to superimpose on the keychain okay so for that we could either use the polygonal lasso tool so this is so when I first learned Photoshop this is the first thing I did polygonal lasso tool okay so yeah polygonal lasso tool can do the job but not as good as the thing I'm gonna show you okay so oh man it doesn't want to close all right so there polygonal lasso tool control J to copy and there you go pretty much easy all you have to do is erase and refine the edges but I am going to show you guys an easier way or a more efficient way for those of you guys out there with OCD who really have to do things the right way this is the right way to do it check your pen tool I mean check I mean click click your pen tool and then click on the paths you don't want it to be on shape layers you want the pen tool to be on paths okay and also make sure you're on caps lock so that you can see the edge of the pen okay so I'm just gonna do this in a fast manner guys I'm not really gonna be super super picky about the points I'm just doing this for the sake of the video okay so the advantage of the pen against the polygonal lasso tool is that you can zoom in and out of the image so that's for me that's like a major reason to switch from the polygonal lasso tool team into the pen tool team Did I just make teams for the pen <laughs> okay also, one of the advantages of the pen tool is like if you make a mistake like Oh no, I accidentally cut off her arm! Nope, we can fix that afterwards. Okay, so closed. Oh no, I accidentally closed it and didn't fix the, the mistake I made a while ago. There's an easy fix for that, guys. All you have to do is hold control. Okay, so your pen tool is gonna turn into an arrow tool. Click on the path. Okay, and then... While pressing control, drag on the points that you don't want to be messing with your image. Dragging, 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 and voila! It's already fixed. Now all you have to do, press enter. Oh, no! Do not press enter. All you have to do is right click. Click on make selection. Alright, so feather radius, basically what this does is it softens the edges. So feather radius, I always pick zero. There you go, so it's gonna make a selection of the thing. Make sure you're on the layer of the thing that you want to copy. Now next is copy the selection, Control J. There we go, voila! And it is selected. Oh no, I made a mistake. I did not correct that part. Okay, so escape, escape, oh, unselect, no! 
I is having trouble guys deselect deselect control D oh shizzles man I pressed control S okay so why did they locate control D next to control S those ding dong developers <laughs> oh man now it's gonna take so long to save and 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 I lost the selection okay so just click ctrl alt z to return to your path click on ctrl and drag that down okay and we're back on schedule what you have to do make selection okay ctrl j and there we go now that is how to make a quick selection so for the sake of uh, accuracy sake i'm gonna show another advantage of the pen tool against the polygonal lasso tool so for the pen tool you just click both edges and then click on the middle and and voila can the lasso tool do that nope he, the lasso tool can't make roundular roundular selections so for those of you who like to do roundular selections just use the pen tool and you're all set there we go and right click make selection okay delete boom and that is how to make quick selections in Photoshop guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, leave a comment and subscribe down below for more Photoshop tutorial videos. Hopefully by the end of this series I am making in maybe one or two months, you guys would be able to make images like this. Boom! Oh right, you saw that image guys? You are going to make one of those in two months, maybe one month tops. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace!